Good morning. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. It's Gaudete Sunday. Rejoice. So let us rejoice in the Lord. It's not Easter yet, but in every Sunday is a little Easter. So let's rejoice in the Lord. Before I get to today's readings, if you listen to my homily yesterday, I talked about the Lord, uh, how God folds anything into his plan, whether he intended it or not. And so he folds even evil into his will and, and to his plan and makes it his will. I wanted to give you an image for that. An image occurred to me. I was watching a, a YouTube video, I think, and it was a chef trying to show how you fold egg whites into this mixture, you know. So he's mixing this and it's a dark brown and he's folding some egg whites into it. And little by little, the egg whites disappear. And what's left is the mixture. It's it's a little lighter than before. And he says, now this makes it lighter and fluffier, you know. And so that's the image that occurred to me that God is this um, chef and he's he's uh, making and he can use any ingredient and and uh, turn it into. Yeah, you got poison there. Sure, I'll put poison in there and I'll make it make this thing even tastier and better for you. You know, so that was for yesterday. This morning, uh, we have some beautiful readings, especially this gospel reading of the man born blind. And um, But my heart uh, went right to the <laughs> uh, psalm, of course. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, Psalm 23. And I bet you that many people can recite the first part of this psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Besides restful waters, he leads me, he restores my soul, you know. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. But we have to remind ourselves that this also is part of this psalm. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. And those two lines tell us three things. First of all, that we will sometimes go through the dark valley. Anyone who tells you that being a Christian means your life is going to be prosperous and wonderful, you know, um, they're not telling you the truth. Christians also walk through the dark valley. Sometimes Christians have a more difficult time even in life than others. In God's uh, plan, who knows why, but so A, we will, or number one, we will go through a dark valley. Two, we will not fear. And three, why will we not fear? Because the Lord is at our side. And so these three things are part of the life of a Christian. We'll walk through the dark valley, but because the Lord is with us, we won't fear. Now, you might say, well, wait, I can't help when I fear. It's just an emotion, right? Absolutely. That's not what the psalm means. It doesn't mean that you won't feel fear. You know, it means that you won't let fear rule you or take over. You know, you won't let fear make your decisions for you. There's a Chinese proverb I think about sometimes. I sort of like it says that the birds of anxiety and worry fly above your head. You cannot help. But that they land in your hair and make their nest there that you can help. And so what we do when we're in the dark valley, when we fear, we call on the Lord Jesus. Here's a line I love from Psalm 56. It's verse three. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. And that might sound like a nice sentiment, except that um, the heading of the psalm tells us that David wrote this when he was, uh, when the Philistines seized him in Gath. And that's a story related to 1 Samuel. You remember, uh, David killed Goliath, the most famous Philistine warrior. So the Philistines were not big fans of David. And he found himself one time <laughs> in their land, in their midst, you know. And so David wrote this when he was among his enemies. When I am afraid, 
I put my trust in you. And to tell you the truth, um, it's the same for me. Um, as my, it seems like my anxiety attacks, uh, whatever, my panic things uh, come more often uh, and more intensely. I'll wake up in the middle of the night, my heart's pounding and, you know, all these things. And I just say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. You know, it's like Peter. Remember when Peter was trying to walk on water, he starts to sink. What does he do? He does the most intelligent thing he can ever do. He prays the most intelligent prayer in all of the Bible, it seems to me. Lord, save me. <laughs> save me. And so we are in a time now. We have some anxiety and worry, fears, panic, whatever. But we will not let those things control us and rule over us, right? No, the Lord is with us. The Lord is our shepherd. He's got his rod and his staff that gives us courage. We don't have courage because we have the best epidemiologists in the world. We don't have courage because our governments are so efficient at handling crises. <laughs> no. We have courage because the Lord is our shepherd and he is with us and he loves us, right? So don't let your fears, if you have any, take you over. Look to Jesus. Say, Jesus, be with me. Jesus, save us. Jesus, help us. That's our prayer, okay? God bless you. I love you and miss you and pray for you guys every day. See you.